Good afternoon. My name is Mario Severo. For those who don't know me, I'm presently the chairman of Delaware County Council. I'm here today with um, Dave Montello, who's the head of the uh, police chief for Delaware County, my colleague Mike Cole, and Marianne Grace, our executive director, and Joe Daly, who's the chief of police of Springfield Township. The reason for this, uh, this press conference today is to let everybody know, to make aware, that starting in the beginning of June of 2015, we conveyed a meeting in the Delaware County Council Chambers of all the municipalities, 49 municipalities that are in Delaware County. Why? Because we have an event that's going on that everybody knows about, and that's the paper visit. We're very excited about it, uh, we're very enthused about it, and you know, there's been a lot of discussion, and we've come up with a plan, and I'll share this plan with you in a minute. Okay, and this plan has been composed of all the participation of the people that are in this room today. Uh, we had a meeting prior to this press conference this morning to go over this plan and as we fine tune it for the week of the papal visit, which we are very, very happy with. Let me start with this. The reason, this, this was a new direction for the county, a direction that we were able to communicate with all our police departments throughout the, uh, Delaware County. A plan that we've communicated with the Pennsylvania Army National Guard, the Pennsylvania State Police, and PennDOT. And we all work together extremely well to come up with this. This is something that we don't want to put a fear in anybody. We want this to be a happy occasion because it is a happy occasion. A world leader is coming into this region and will be here on September the 26th and 27th, as you know. The World of Families, that meeting starts. Uh, on September the 22nd to 25th. So there'll be a lot of people that will be coming through the county, be coming through the region, whether they be coming in mass transit, using mass transit, driving automobiles, coming in with buses. And I understand, I understand what's been going on in the news media for the last two weeks, and that now that all of a sudden the numbers have declined. Let, no, let, let me make no mistake about it. I intend to go down to see the papal visit. I'm going to be on the parkway. I have experienced a great deal of comfort in this because I sat on a committee with, with the world of families. We had a, a communication with them last, a conference call with them last Thursday, and they have extended an invitation, and I expect to be there. Uh, I'm very confident that this is going to come off in a great way. There's some inconveniences, and there's some conveniences that will take place. Um, it would be an understatement to say that there's a lot of planning and press coverage leading to the Pope Francis visit, but the fact is the planning and communications are the foundation for a successful event of this size and magnitude. On County Council, we, are, we want our residents to be safe, to be informed, be prepared. Whether the organizations have overestimated or underestimated the number of people, we are prepared. And that's what this report will show you today. Many of the transit lines and highways go through Delaware County to reach Philadelphia, specifically communities of Alden, Collingdale, Darby Township, Marcus Hook, Springfield, Radnor Villanova, Upper Darby, Upper Providence, and Yaden. And the county plans to encompass each of these municipality plans. So let's go over what I just said. There are 11 locations where the trains and trolleys will stop. And in some of those locations, what we prepare in this plan is traffic control, is crowd control. Even though our numbers are down, if those numbers tweak and they go in a direction where everybody, every municipality understands what's going on. To change this plan because of other numbers that have come in would be a disaster. This plan will be used again and again and again. And that's why I said to you, to go over what I just said a minute ago, this makes a lot of sense and a lot of good hard work what has been done. The county will activate an emergency operations center, it's called EOC. Friday it'll start and it'll run, it'll run into plateaus. It won't start right away on Friday, but by the time we get to 11 o'clock Friday evening, 12 o'clock, that'll be in full, full swing. And it will, go, it will it'll be in existence through Monday, September the 20, 28th. There will be an increase in staffing at the 911 center. There will be direct communications with the Pennsylvania State Police, SEPTA, PennDOT, and the National Guard, local, local law enforcement. Delaware County has requested assistance from 280 Pennsylvania National Guard. And we'll talk about that in a minute. 
So you're requesting 280 National Guard, but the numbers are pulling back a little bit. The reason for this is, okay, and this commitment was made, understand the commitment had to be made uh, three weeks ago, Pima had to be notified. And when we notified Pima, we had to give a description why. So at that point, we were hearing from our transportation authorities that those numbers were increased. To turn that request back right now would be a vital, vital mistake. It would be a vital mistake. So we, our, our National Guard is present here today, and we're happy, and we're going to go through with that commitment. The county, the communication emergency response team, sir, will conduct training this week and for members of the volunteer corps registered to help wherever needed. Maps from the municipalities plan road closures and their transit stops will be posted on the county website. There are tentative SEPTA as continued, SEPTA continues to adjust its plan. We hope our plans are maximized in the positive aspect for the historical event and minimize the disrupt disruptions. In closing, I'd like to thank the members of the planning committee for working so hard to make this safe and orderly event. These communities have been working throughout the summer months, and there's a lot of talent in this room, and it has been a great collaborative effort. County Council and the Department of Emergency Service work closely with the municipal leaders, emergency responders, local and state police, SEPTA and PennDOT representatives, and the Pennsylvania National Guard, which I just mentioned hospital officials, and the citizens of the volunteer group. While everyone in this room contributed much, I'd like to ask the chairs of the committees to stand to be recognized. Ed Truly, who is the director of our 9-1 system. Outstanding job. Ed Doyle, committee co coordinator, is co-chairman of the local emergency planning committee. Upper Providence chief, and is the president of the, of the Delaware County Chiefs Association, Dave Montella, who has been a great help. The police chiefs volunteered calls at night, weekends, talked about this, what about this? I mean, they, their hands were on to understand what we have to go. Let me say this to you. We're a little bit different than the city of Philadelphia. The city of Philadelphia, you know, has governs at the city of Philadelphia. In Delaware County, we have 49 individual municipalities. The county of Delaware doesn't supervise those 49 individual municipalities or those 35 individual police departments. So for them to come together, as we had, we had this morning, was a great cooperation. Okay, uh, Marble Police Chief Tom Murray, who's going to be helping with the fire department response. Larry Bob, our transportation coordinator. Ed Klein, a volunteer coordinator. Lieutenant Tony Civo of the Pennsylvania State Police. Let's talk about the state police. We have a relationship with the state police. We've always had a relationship. But they, they have been here, they have helped us, they've given us ideas about road closures, about I-95, about 676. And every time you hear that, a road closure, 995, 676, the blue route, the blue route 476, what happens? There's a domino effect. It comes back to where you sit. It comes back to where you are. So we're prepared. And that's the that's the emphasis I want to make here. We are prepared to carry this through. And we're going to have a good time with it. We're going to learn a lot of things about it. And most of all, to the citizens of the county and to the region, we just, we want, nobody wants to scare anybody here. That's the last thing that I would try to communicate. Just everybody be safe, be patient, and we will accommodate all that. Mike Liberi from SEPTA was here this morning. I don't know if he's still here. Um, um, and we got, now we have Anthony, was it, uh, would you stand up? He's from our, the National Guard. He's going to be our coordinator uh, for the Pennsylvania National Guard. So if you have any questions, I'd be more than happy to answer them. I want to thank everybody for attending this morning. Got Mayor McCosey here from, uh, because that Upper Darby is, 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 is no question about it. It's going to be a focal point in this whole five county area. So for the city of Philadelphia, we have a plan. And it's a safe plan, and we're willing to share it. So if there's any questions.